Welcome to this month in Fallout history for January 2023. Happy New Year! On January 14, 2075, the Bureau of Alcohol, Drugs, Tobacco, Firearms and Lasers would shut down a nationwide weapons smuggling ring. In 2076, a sit-in at the Mononga mine leads to tragedy when an explosion traps the protesters inside. The mine supervisor pronounces them dead without much in the way of a rescue operation. Also in 2076, the annexation of Canada is complete. Protesters would be shot without trial, but unrest would continue to build as news of American atrocities spreads. On January 10, 2077, the Anchorage Reclamation is complete. Alaska is certified Chinese free. Between January 8 and 10, 2078, a two day windstorm sweeps through Zion Canyon, dropping the radiation by about 500 rads. By the end of the month, the radiation would be low enough for Randall Clark to begin his exploration. On January 11, 2083, Carol Sweeney and some followers break from the cutthroats in response to David Thorpe's Christmas flood. You'll find more on that in our most recent Fallout History episode. On January 28, 2095, the Brotherhood of Steel would launch Operation Touchdown to deal with the Scorched Menace. We'll have more of the fate of Paladin Taggarty in our upcoming podcast. Ending January 13, 2097, Randall Clark's guerrilla war against the Vault 22 survivors ends, with 80 survivors lost due to his attacks or disease. In 2103, Richard Gray discovers that radiation affects the FEB transformation success rate. He assimilates the first successful super mutant and becomes the hive mind master. According to the Fallout Bibles, in 2162, Harold brings equality between the hub's ghoul and human populations. And lastly, on January 21, 2242, the Chosen One experiences their second dream, reminding them about the urgency of the quest. You can find more of these dream sequences on our channel. Thanks very much for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as for our podcast.